They are hot. Now, the Cubs are right behind us. They're getting ready to practice. And if they win tomorrow against Avalon and Catalina, they actually move into the championship. And that is one for the history books. Here's why. With an 11-0 record, the Cubs are one win away from their division varsity championship game for the first time in their high school's 68-year history. Now, that's impressive enough, but then you realize none of them are talking to each other, at least not with words. Meet the California School for the Deaf, Riverside Cubs. Their translator next to me is Mara Bodich. We communicate not through spoken language, but through facial expressions and sign language. Now, is that an advantage, you think? Oh, certainly, I do, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, hearing people, they need to be able to hear each other, so they have to, like, huddle, etc. We rely solely on our eyes, not on our ears, to communicate. More impressive is that all their wins have been against hearing teams. Oh, yeah, they were good teams. They certainly were. And, you know, they played with passion as well. We just played better. The school is renowned for its programs, but this achievement goes beyond, well, words. Yes. <laughs> wow, uh, quite inspiring, as you can imagine. I mean, it's still in disbelief that we've had such an outstanding season. We are players. We're here to play football, right? It's it's not about us not being able to play the game because we're deaf. We can do anything except except here. Now, he wants to play for the Las Vegas Raiders, actually. And actually, the coach was telling me that there's been at least three players in the pros with hearing impairments. They also have cheerleaders. Too bad they're not out here because it's really cool. And, of course, they have fans that follow them from game to game. They tell me we can't that they can't hear them, but they can certainly feel them. Live in Riverside, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you Christina, guys. Christina, that's awesome. We are cheering them on from here. Thanks Love for that, that great story. Nicely done. Uh